the narcissist casts a spell on you, metaphorically at least. He invades your mind with his entraining, or her entraining. They take over, and then they insinuate and introject a voice that remains inside your head long after they are physically gone. Today, I'm going to teach you three counter spells, <laughs> white magic, call it, to the narcissist, black magic. How to counter the narcissist enchantment, how to disenchant yourself, three affirmations. Do the following. Listen to this daily, three times a day, morning, during the day, and before you go to sleep. Print the text. It's available in the description of the video. Paste it everywhere, everywhere you go within your apartment, your refrigerator, your um, toilet, your bathroom, everywhere within your closets. Make sure you're exposed to this text time and again. Keep a copy in your handbag or your wallet. Repeat aloud these three spells, these three affirmations. Repeat them aloud to yourself in your own voice as many times during the day and night as you can. Gradually, these will take over and displace the narcissist's voice. And here are the three things. Number one, say to yourself, it is not about me. It is not my fault. The narcissist lives inside his or her mind. The narcissist reacts only to internal dynamics, processes, emotions, negative emotions, cognitions. The narcissist is a captive of his own sickness and pathology. He is in a cage, a perpetual cage. He never exits. He is in he or she is out of touch with reality. You have never been there. You have never existed for the narcissist. So keep saying this. It is not about me. It is not my fault. The narcissist lives inside his or her mind. The narcissist reacts only to internal dynamics. The narcissist is divorced from reality. Number two. Say to yourself, I was chosen by the narcissist because of his needs, because of her needs, because of his fantasy, because of her fantasy, not because of who I am. I was chosen for the, by the narcissist to cater to his or her needs, to fulfill a role in a fantasy play, a kind of morality play. It is not my fault. I haven't been chosen because of who I am. Nothing is wrong with me. Number three, the narcissist was compelled to devalue and discard me in order to exorcise his or her inner demons. Repeat this very crucial sentence. The narcissist was compelled, it's a compulsion, to devalue me to discard me, not because of me, not because of who I am, not because of something I've done, but because the narcissist needed to get rid of early childhood conflicts, to exorcise the inner demons, if you wish to use a religious metaphor. It was all about the narcissist, as usual, nothing to do with you. Say to yourself, I could have done nothing to prevent it, and neither could the narcissist. It was preordained. It's baked into, hardwired into the shared, the narcissist shared fantasy. I just happened to be there. I just happened to be willing to collaborate with the narcissist by satisfying or gratifying his or her needs and fitting into the fantasy. Other than that, other than that, none of this had anything to do with me. 
Listen to this daily. Print it and paste it everywhere. And repeat it aloud to yourself as often as you can. Gradually you will find that the narcissist's voice inside your mind, this nagging presence that won't let go, this harsh, harsh inner critic that colludes and collaborates with other voices in your past, this internal enemy, this Trojan horse, this fifth column, gradually you will find that they are being sidelined and silenced by these three spells of white magic, by these counter-affirmations. Good luck to you.